G'day guys, my name's Dave from DTI Unboxed and in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the A10 USB-C multi-port dock. Now I just recently upgraded my workstation so instead of the iMac I've upgraded to a MacBook Pro that you can see here behind me and obviously the new MacBook Pros only have four USB-C ports so all my old USB type A devices were not going to really work with that so I decided to grab the A10 USB-C multi-port dock. So I'll be showing you all the features of this particular dock. Now, I think the thing that I really like about this particular dock is that it's discreet. So behind me in this setup, I've actually put the dock underneath the laptop. So you can see the laptop here behind me. My MacBook Pro is sitting on top of it and then all the ports are right at the back there. But you can also use the dock on the side as well. But the cool thing is that you can rest your laptop directly on the dock. And so it's not like a very messy workspace. So I'm gonna run through my thoughts on the dock after using it for a little bit, but I'm also gonna run you through every single port and what this thing can do. So I've been using this for about two weeks now and I must say I'm really impressed with it. It's super stylish, it looks great. Although I do wish they had matched the color to the color of a MacBook Pro. So that sort of space gray look, but this is a sort of rose gold look, which is quite nice as well. Now this particular dock is designed for 13 to 15 inch laptops, but I've got a 16 inch MacBook and it works completely fine as well. The 16 inch MacBook just goes over the edge of the dock by just the tiniest amount, but it's not very noticeable. So I would say it's perfectly fine for the 16 inch MacBook as well. Okay, so here's the dock itself. And as you can see, it's got that really nice brushed aluminum look and it's kind of that rose gold color. It's got this nice soft rubber grip here. So that's where you rest your laptop on if you want to make this more of a discreet sort of dock. So that's what the port looks like, beautiful. Now let's run through all the ports itself. So starting with this side here, we have a 3.5 mil audio jack. Now that takes microphones as well. And then moving on to the side here, we have six USB ports. So starting over here, we have a USB 3.1 type C. Then we have two USB 2 type A, and then we have three USB 3.1 type A ports. So that's more than enough ports to suit most people's needs. Now these six ports do output some power as well. Now the total output of these six ports is a max of five volts and 10 watts. And this middle port here actually has BC 1.2 charging. And to my understanding, that just means that this particular port charges devices like your smartphone a lot faster than the others. Then moving on, we have a SD card slot. So we got um, a normal SD card and a micro SD card slot. So very, very versatile. Then we got a gigabit ethernet port right here. So if you wanna to connect to a wired network, then you can do that as well. And then we've got three ports here for video display. So there's two HDMI ports and a VGA port. So you can use one HDMI port and you can output 4K, but that's only at 30 Hertz. So that's a bit of a limit there. And then you can also do two HDMI outputs at 1080p but that's at 60 hertz. It is also worth mentioning that I believe for Macs that you can only output one display anyway. So if you have a 1080 monitor, you can go 60 hertz, no problems. But if you're going 4K, then you'll be capped at 30 hertz. Now, I think this is great, but I do wish they had a display port function here because I'm pretty sure display port is a little more reliable than HDMI from what I've read but it's not a massive deal. And personally, I'm just using the inbuilt USB-C port on the MacBook Pro for my external monitor anyway. So it's nice to have these if you want, but personally, I don't use them. And then finally, we have our USB-C power pass through here. So you put your USB-C power adapter in here and the dock can power pass through to your MacBook up to 85 watts. Now it's recommended that you put a power adapter of at least 65 watts in here for this to work properly. So those are all the ports for the A10 USB-C multi-port dock. So as you can see, it pretty much covers everything. Personally for me, everything that I use is the USB-C ports and the SD card slots, which is super handy. I really wish they still had them inbuilt on MacBooks, but unfortunately it is what it is. 
The power pass through is also a really great feature. So you're not using up more USB-C ports on your MacBook Pro than you need to. So there you have it guys, that's my review of the A10 USB-C multi-port dock. I've been really happy with it so far and honestly it's got more than enough ports to satisfy my workstation's needs. So pretty happy with it. If you have any questions about this particular dock then leave them in the comments down below. I'll leave a link to this particular model in the description as well so you can check it out. If you've enjoyed this video I'd mean a lot if you could hit that like button and hit subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time on DT Unboxed. Cheers.